What's up all my Jump Force players? I'm David Janssen and I'm here to talk about Jump Force. There is a big issue and there is new information going around that it is confirmed that Jump Force will be taken down. As you can see in this Twitter post, Jump Force will be gone by February and they will be cutting down servers which will limit your activity on there and what you can do. Now, some people hate Jump Force, some people love Jump Force, but what I need you guys to understand is, you're both consumers. You guys both have put money into the game, so instead of saying, oh, I don't care if they shut down that trash ass game, I want you to know that if you paid for it, buddy, you're getting scammed, you're getting conned, you're getting shitted on, so don't let that happen. Now. So if they're shutting down Jump Force and this is what they're going to do, then the one thing that I would want and hope that they did is fix the very core problems with the game. Now, if you guys don't know the core problems I'm talking about, it's battle mechanics. Sure, the game is laggy. All games are laggy. All the games are laggy. Uh, uh, Naruto Storm, Boruto Shinobi Striker, GTA 5. Well, you know what? GTA 5 is GTA 5. But all these games are laggy. There's so much lag. But you know what? Jump Force has a very... An issue that no one talks about. No one talks about this issue. And it's very, very frustrating. Because it never gets fixed. And it never gets talked about. Now... If you are a Jump Force player, you will agree if you notice. And if you didn't notice today, check again. Now, Jump Force is having a 20 gigabyte update. I'm actually updating it as we speak. I am updating the game. And I'm hoping with this update, they're going to fix whatever issues that this game had before they shut it down in February. Now, I am really excited to see if they fixed it or not. But if they didn't, I'm going to lay out these facts for you guys. I want you to know what issues this game has before the servers go off. Now, the number one issue that you will find, and if you guys play Naruto Storm, I'm sure you guys will know and agree with me. In Jump Force, when you summon your partners to attack when you hold lt or l2 whatever you use to summon out your support they don't always come when you summon them sometimes you click the button and your support does not show up which messes with your combo which messes with the game which ends up causing you to take an l if you guys have seen that happen Please drop it in the comment section so I know I am not the only one. Now the next one. When you are in the heat of battle. The heat of battle. Low health. You guys both got low health or maybe you have low health. And he's got no evasive. And now you want to turn the game around. You press R3. Or you click down on the right analog stick. And you do not awaken. You click. Click, 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 click. And nothing happens. Nothing happens. You do not awaken. Instead, you get comboed and then you get killed. That is just another one. And sometimes you press the awakening and it does work immediately. And then sometimes you can even evasive with the awakening and break. But sometimes you can have full stamina. You can mass your, your awakening and not awaken. And then it ends up costing you the game. Not only does your support don't come out when you want them to. They don't always come out consistently. But you cannot awaken consistently. Sometimes there will be a delay and it will cost you the game. It will cost you the game. That is just the two core mistakes the two core issues in the game now the third issue i'm going to put out i hope all of you guys are still following me and you still can agree with me the third core issue with the battle mechanic that i will put out is the evasive system 
I've been comboed before and I had very low health and I had half or full evasive and I am mashing the LB button. I'm just mashing it and the person is doing a combo on me and I am not evasive in the combo. And instead I take unnecessary damage and then I finally do evasive but I got a little piece of health. The evasive doesn't always work when you click it. Calling the support out, they don't always come out when you click it. Pressing the awakening, you don't always awaken when you click it. Now before these servers get shut down, I need Bandai to please fix these issues. But these issues, guys, should have been fixed at the start of the game, and if not at the start of the game, in the middle of the game, and if it's not going to get fixed in the middle of the game, it should be fixed at the end. Now, if you guys didn't know about these three core, these are just three core issues that I notice that are consistent that you guys may not have noticed, but just remember what I said. Number one, the support doesn't always come out when you call them. Number two, you don't always awaken when you try to awaken. And number three, when you press your evasive, sometimes it evasives late, which costs you a ton of health. These are important because if you are not a casual player, you will be playing this game seriously and every single thing will cost you the match. All these issues will cost you the match. Now, I'm not even adding in lag because F lag, you know, lag is in so many games. I can probably get over that. At least it's not, not, at least it's not like Naruto Storm and there's delay. I can deal with lag that, you know, I still can move. I, my controller still responds. My character still responds. It's just that the game has you moving around in different places. I can deal with that. But I can't deal with when I press awakening or when I call my support out or when I try to evasive and these things don't happen because they cost me the game. Now, I just wanted you guys to know that. Also to know that, yeah, Jump Force really is verified and it is closing down. So it's telling you to make sure that if you bought any content, which I don't think you want to buy any content. If you do, you do. But they will be shutting it out of the stores. My gosh, man. First J Stars, now Jump Force, and I do hope now that when Jump Force is gone that they further put attention in other games. But I have a whole rant for this, and I just want you guys to know this piece of information. If you guys enjoyed the video, smash like, or if you guys agree with anything I'm saying, smash like, but leave that feedback in the bottom. And if you guys want to share this with Bondi, if you guys want to take all this to Twitter, go and take this to Twitter. These issues need to get fixed before this game is up because people, you gamers, have put enough money into these games for these companies to fix it. They have... Jump Force started, or Bandai started, the system to where you can actually buy tokens and go into their exclusive shop. So they have a way of getting more money out of you, but they're not putting money back into the game. Where's the money going? I'm serious, because I just got surprised the day before yesterday with the Hero Coliseum, which I went into the uh, Facebook groups, I talked about it, and... No one really seems to care, but I did find some people that actually do, and a really cool-ass YouTuber. You guys can go into my comment section. I pinned his comment there. He actually cares about it. You guys, as gamers, need to start caring about these games because you are an investor, and you guys are investing in these games. You're buying DLC. You're buying currency. So these games that you're investing in you need to start caring because if you don't start caring you're going to start getting ripped off and your friends are going to get ripped off and then this is going to continue this vicious cycle do not let these capitalist people come into our gaming world and start changing our content and start giving us games with a bunch of issues with a bunch of problems and the only way they decide to maybe fix it is when they come out with new dlc for you to buy and then they go hey we fixed a few of them don't worry we'll do it on the next dlc update no that is it that is enough. They need to fix these games pronto.
because we will not keep investing in these games for they to, to them to be shut down, not to be fixed, and for them to sell us some more stuff, man. Telling you. All right, guys. Sorry for the long video, but honestly, I am so tired of seeing us being ripped off and being treated this way. I'm done with it. So you know what? Take care, guys. And if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe to the channel. We seem to be way more active than we have ever been on this channel. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later. Adios.